Hi, boys and girls. So most of you just finished doing your ladybug project and you saw that um, within the ladybug project, you've learned a lot about the life cycle of a ladybug. So now we're gonna move on to a very quick project on butterflies. And you are going to also learn about the life cycle of a butterfly with this project. So you've got a sheet um, in this week's packet in your science uh, portion of your packet about the life cycle of a butterfly or caterpillar. And so all you're gonna do is just complete that sheet. It's a fun cut and paste um, kind of thing. Um, and I have a butterfly book that I'm going to put online and that will help you kind of understand how the life cycle of a butterfly works. And I'll be um, reading that and then uploading that so that you can watch it. Um, but then there's also a fun part that we are going to do and that's what I'm gonna show you now. Inside of your baggie, Mrs. Romer put these coffee filters. So they look like this. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make a butterfly out of the coffee filters. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna flatten these out on the table, okay? So you're gonna lay them down and you're gonna flatten them out and, sorry about that. Let me just show you what I'm doing here. I don't have my assistant Katie Beth this time. but I'm just flattening them out on the table, okay? Now, the next thing that you're gonna do after you flattened your ladybug out, or I'm sorry, after you have flattened out your coffee filter, is you are going to paint them with watercolors. Now, if you have watercolors at home that you bought from Walmart or Target or something like that, that comes in a nice palette, those are probably easier to uh, use, but if you don't have those at home, then Mrs. Romer put a little um, color palette of watercolors in your kit. And so you're gonna need a cup of water, and then it comes with a little paintbrush and then some colors. So you are just simply going to paint your coffee filters and you're gonna need two of them for each butterfly. And there's enough coffee filters that I put in your bag for you to make two butterflies, because you should have four coffee filters and then two uh, pipe cleaners here. So the next step is for you to paint your coffee filters. Now, I've already done that, and I'm gonna show you what some of mine turned out to look like. See, here's one of them. I after I painted that one, and then here's the other one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and make your butterfly. Like I said, you're gonna need two coffee filters to make one butterfly. All right, so all I'm going to do with my coffee filter, first I'm gonna let it dry, all right? And then once it's good and dry, you're going to take it from the center and you are going to gather it up. Now this might, you might need to have mom and dad help you out a little bit with this part. Um, I know when we're doing this in class, this is typically the part where um, all my kindergartners say, Mrs. Romer, I need your help. You're gonna um, squish it in the center and make it look just like a bow tie, okay? You're gonna give it a real good pinch so that it'll stay just like that. And then you can put it down and it'll stay. And then you're gonna do the other one. And you're gonna gather it up in the center. And then make it look like a bow tie. You're gonna fluff out the sides. And then you're gonna give it a real good pinch. And then you're gonna take both coffee filters and you're gonna put the pinched part together. So that, because we know that butterflies have four wings. So this way, your butterfly will have four wings as well. You're gonna fluff that out. You're gonna take your coffee filter, doesn't matter which, I'm sorry, not your coffee filter. You're gonna take your pipe cleaner 
Doesn't matter what color you want to use. Let's see. He's kind of a yellow butterfly. I'm going to put red on him just to make him a little more colorful. And then I'm going to... You notice that my coffee, uh, that my pipe cleaner was in the shape of a V. So I'm going to bend it in half first. And then I'm going to slide the pinched part of my coffee filters into that V uh, of my pipe cleaner. Okay. So then here I'm going to take it and hold it down and then I'm going to twist. Okay. A little, good little twist. Fluff your wings back out and super simple but lots of fun. I'm going to give his uh, little antenna There we go, curl him up, and there he is. And these look great. If you put them in your window, just put a little piece of tape, you know, either on his antenna or on the side of his wings, and they look awesome in the window because the sunlight comes through and then they just light right up. So um, that's it for our little butterfly project. Um, and from here on out, we've got one more project and it will be on plants. We will, um, talk about the life cycle of a, of a plant. And then we're going to also talk about the plant parts. And our next craft is going to be actually constructing a plant and labeling all of the parts of the plant. And then boys and girls, we have complete, oh, oh, and then you will also get to plant your plant. Um, because Mrs. Romer has dirt and seeds, which is going to be awesome and lots of fun. And you will have graduated kindergarten. So I will look forward to seeing you one last time on YouTube and have fun making your little butterflies. Bye-bye, boys and girls.